we should be having a good time start things off with the crushing hammer and every time you hit a crushing hammer you know an angel gets its wings it's really a, a beautiful thing some pokemon aren't looking for anything logical like knockouts they can't be bought bullied reasoned or negotiated with some pokemon just want to watch the world burn Evil Tall and Slurpuff are both these kind of Pokemon. Evil Tall, with its cry of destruction attack, allows you to discard up to three special energy from your opponent's Pokemon. This is a great attack for removing energy from Single Strike and Mew VMAX decks. And then Slurpuff, with its Follow the Scent attack, allows you to flip three coins, and for each heads, you get to recover a card from your discard pile to your hand, which is great for getting Crushing Hammers back from your discard pile so that you can remove even more energy from your opponent. Pokemon. I've got a really cool new control deck that I'm excited to show off in today's video, but before we get to it, let's head on over to FullGripGames.com. Let me tell you about FullGripGames.com. Not only is it the best place to buy Pokemon trading card game singles, it's also the best place to buy sealed Pokemon TCG product and the best place to sell your Pokemon cards. If you've got extra cards lying around your house and you're trying to get some cash from them or store credit, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles here at the shop and selling your extra cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Filling out a buy list, super easy to do. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell us, you send us the cards, and we send you the cash or the store credit. It really is that simple. Selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. So thank you guys so much for shopping at Full Grip Games. Now, let's check out that new control list. The idea of this deck is to completely remove all of your opponent's energy from play with Evil Tall's Cry of Destruction attack, as well as Crushing Hammers, which of course you can loop with Slurpuff's Follow the Scent attack. And then you also want to strand something in the active position that your opponent doesn't want there with Boss's Orders and Galar Mine. It really is a very frustrating deck to play against, but it's a lot of fun to play. And I think it really pressures your opponent's resources and makes them consider the plays carefully, which is always fun in the Pokemon trading card game. In order to accomplish our win condition, which is either annoying our opponent to the point where they concede or decking them out, we play Chinchino and Zorg. Chinchino's make-do ability is fantastic for this deck because it allows you to churn through your deck and find useful cards like Boss's Orders or Tool Scrapper or Crushing Hammer, whatever. Chinchino is really good, but Zorg is the glue that holds this whole deck together. It's Phantom Transformation ability allows Zorak to transform into any Stage 1 Pokemon you have in your discard pile when Zorak is in play. You can use that Phantom Transformation ability to transform Zorak into Slurpuff, whose Follow the Scent attack allows you to recover cards from your discard pile, or you could transform into Dusclops, which can confuse the defending Pokemon, which is super useful, actually. If your opponent is trying to go just one attacker, you can confuse that attacker with Dusclops and then hammer all of their energy away. Dusclops can also evolve into Dusnor, which basically makes all your opponent's special energy useless, which is also awesome. Or you can have Zorg transform into Gorbis with its Rapid Strike Canceler ability, completely turning off Pokemon like Quick Shooting Intellion or Rapid Strike Octillery's Rapid Strike Search. This deck is a lot of fun to play. You're going to feel like your brain is expanding and growing in size like Jimmy Neutron or something when you actually win a game with this deck. It does have its weaknesses, of course. It is a little bit weak to Pokemon that can spread damage like Jolteon VMAX or Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, but fortunately, Manaphy from Brilliant Stars is on the way with its Bench Barrier ability, which is definitely going to help out decks like this that play Pokemon that don't have a ton of hit points. Check out the deck in action and let me know what you think of my Slurpuff Evil Tall Control deck in the comments below. You gotta vomit everything into play on turn one or you're losing. Do you see what I'm saying? Look at this. Gengar V is gonna be doing, you know, 230 damage turn two. Like, I, you ain't got time. Ain't got time. Cool, so we're playing against Gengar Single Strike which should be a good matchup for us because we've got the Dust Noir. We also have ways to remove all of their energy from play constantly. So we should be having a good time, start things off with the Crushing Hammer. 
And every time you hit a crushing hammer, you know, an angel gets its wings. It's really a, a beautiful thing. Love to see it. We'll grab a evil tall just in case my... Uh, I think I want, like, a Minchino as well. I'm going to grab an Evil Tall and put it down. And then we're going to put Zerua down, and we are going to level ball, I think, for... Let's see, we got the Dust Nor line is in the deck. Gorgeous. We've only got one Chinchino in the deck, but I've got one in my hand. So we'll go for both because it's going to allow us to draw the most amount of cards. And then I don't necessarily... Eh, the Evolution Incense is good for sure. We'll put the Galar Mine down just to draw more cards. It's not going to do much because they have the, uh, you know, they have the Hiding Darkness energies. And then we're going to draw cards. And we want to keep the Evolution Incense so we can get two Chinchino out on the second turn of the game, which is super good, obviously, because we're going to allow ourselves to draw a lot of cards. And what Eveltal does is it just pressures the resources early on, right? Because every time they attack... They need to attack with special energy, basically, unless they play, you know, three basic energy, which I don't think that they do. So we'll get to go in with Cry of Destruction and discard up to three special energy from their Pokemon every time uh, they attack, right? Because we play like three Eveltal in this deck. It's just, you know, we play a high count of Eveltal because we really want to punt these matchups where we have a good matchup. We like want their we want to be able to find the twin energy evil toll combo very easily. So they've countered my Galar mine, they got Tower of Darkness, and then we are going to want to set up multiple Zorark so that I can continuously transform into Duskull and then eventually evolve Duskull into Dusknor. And once we've evolved into Dusknor, that's kind of like our checkmate situation. My opponent has also put down Crobat, which is also just really good for us because this Crobat can get stranded in the active position quite easily. And we see them discarding things like Urn of Vitality, and that's the thing, and two switch cards, right? That's the thing about uh that's the thing about standard right now, is that like you know, you kind of have to just burn through your deck as fast as possible to try and set up your win condition. So you see my opponent just burning all these really precious resources. And they're going to have to take six whole knockouts in order to win because we don't play any two prizers in this deck. So that uh, will probably be challenging for them. Find the Dusclops. We've got Chinchino. We want to thin our deck and get another Chinchino. I put the Snorlax on the bench. Might be a little greedy. We'll see how it goes. Got Tool Scrapper, that's fine. We got Crushing Hammer, kind of. I guess I could have saved the Crushing Hammer, but it's fine. I'm just kind of thinking. Would obviously like to find a Twin Energy there. It is cool. And then we're going to make do away the Dusclops as well. And we really want to find some way to get. It's fine. We'll just string Evil Tolls for now. Go Cry of Destruction and discard both their energy and just pressure their resources again and again we still haven't found a supporter yet but that's like the strength of battle vip pass in this deck is that you can just set up and do a lot of things even if you just find one battle vip pass to kick the game off and the format's so fast that you can't really just like wait around until you find multiple quick balls you just have to you have to get kicked off early so i do like the uh I do like the Battle VIP pass in this deck, especially it's it's really good make do fodder later on. Now they've benched two Umbreons. That is, uh, yeah. I mean, you see, they're already down two urns, two switch. It's like you kind of already know at this point that they have so many resources in their discard pile that they will not be able to deal with the pressure I'm putting on their resources, right? because they've already got too much in the discard pile. Like, bro, you have already got two urns and two switch, you know? We're, we're just chill here. Every time that you you have to double Houndoom onto this thing, not only that, you've only got two Houndoom in play, so you have to double Houndoom and attach from hand in order to, uh, in order to be able to attack, right? And if they don't attack with this Umbreon right now, 
They do. That's switch number three. Okay, cool. So they're attacking with Umbreon. And we're definitely looking for like a research or something. You know, really get this uh get this party started. But even if I just find another twin energy, I'm okay with that. Let's make do discard the battle VIP pass. Alright, we got capture energy. Make do again, discard the Slurpuff. We find another twin. Nice. We find a level ball for Zerua. We really needed that. Still haven't played a supporter yet, but like honestly, who cares? <laughs> We're fine. We're gonna just do this again. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then they, you know, <laughs> there goes three energy from. <laughs> it's insane, man. It's insane. So uh, yeah, we set them back again. Uh, they're probably going to have to use a urn, right? But they probably only play like three. Uh, I don't know. Gengar decks tend to play less. They might play four. Um, you know, they're never going to be able to use Gengar's two, two energy attack because I don't play any Pokemon V or anything like that. We also have a bunch of bosses orders in this deck, and I haven't actually been able to find one yet. So... Yeah, that would also be quite good. In fact, we haven't found any supporter cards, and we're still out here. We're still out here doing what we need to do, so that's fine. Next turn, I'm going to transform into Dusclop. So they're going to have to gust, right, in order to knock out my Dusclops. They do have a bunch of Umbreon set up, so they could potentially do that. It won't be too much of a problem, but they are going to be targeting down the Zerua. So I think what we want to do is we're not going for an Eveltal play this next turn. We're just going to use Capture Energy to guarantee a second Zerua. Even a third would be, like, great. And then basically set up a position where they can't chase down all my Duskulls, right? So we've got this guy. That's fine. We're going to Capture Energy. Um, let's make do first, though. Discard Gorbis. Cool. Capture Energy Research. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Really would have liked to have uh, Crushing Hammerheads there, but it's fine. I think that... I mean, I could theoretically go for Scoop Up Net Evil Tall off this research, right? Which... <laughs> scoop Up Net Evil Tall. I'll hold off on the energies. I think that that's fine. Well, uh, you know, just because it would be hilarious if we hit all of that. So we're going to research and see what we find. We do find Scoop Up Net and Evil Tall. If I can find just a single twin energy off this make do, they're going to be so livid. Okay. Yo, let's go. All right. So then we, now they just like simply lose because we're going to transform into this, <laughs> into the, Dusclops, right? And we scoop up net the Snorlax. We put the evil tall up. And then we cry of destruction. We discard three of their energy, right? And now they are like in a lose lose situation because if they gust the Dusclops, then they leave evil tall and I will discard three of their energy again. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. Broken deck, bro. A Duraludon deck. Okay. This is going to be an interesting sort of challenge. I'm not sure if we can actually beat the Duraludon deck. But I'm going to try. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to give it our best shot. <laughs> it's... Because they could go through all effects of attack. So Altaria does nothing. Evil Tall does nothing. Gorbis, nothing. Yeah, it all basically is fruitless here. Let's see, we got Snorlax in the deck, we do. We don't really need it, though. Yeah, we're just going to go get Double Minchino, Capture Energy for Zerua, and pass. And then, yeah, we just need to Crushing Hammer. So that's going to be the primary strategy is to just, it's hilarious because we both play Crushing Hammers. 
So we're going to try and just keep them at like zero energy. That's it, right? Here's Zorark. And we don't really need that. We could just research. Yeah, that's fine. We'll research. We've got Level Ball and a Gallon of Mine. So we can use Level Ball to go get Chinchino. And we'll do that. Make do away the Gorbis. Okay, and we've got a Slurpuff, a Zerua. They're not going to damage me next turn. We can put the Galar Mine down. And I take a peek. <laughs> we can get rid of all the fighting energy, though. How many fighting energy do they play? Like four? I think it's four, right? Yeah, we could totally do that. Metal Claw, it's fine. We're going to promote Zork. Yeah, four. Easy. There goes one. <laughs> there she goes. Research. Easy dubs, dude. Easy dubs. We'll do that. Make do away the Slurpuff. Okay, we've got Dusclops, Level Ball, Level Ball can go get me. Uh. What do we actually need? Zeruas are like never bad, actually. Literally never. Phantom Transformation into the, the Puff, Puff Daddy. And then uh, we start going to town. <laughs> Follow thy sense. And then we're just getting hammers back. That's just going to be the entire game. Is that we just get hammers. Yeah. Hammers back. And then. Yo, I get a Zorak back too. That's broken. Yeah, we'll do that. Thank you, Orc Pride, for that tier one sub. And then we'll research. And we're basically just going to be using Puff. Avery, that's fine. Got one too many Zeruas in play. That's fine. We're going to be using Slurpuff the entire game. Every single one of our guys will just trans transform into Slurpuff. And we're going to use Follow the Scent continuously to recycle our Crushing Hammers. And we're going to get to the point where I should be able to play a couple of turn. Theoretically, right? I mean, that's like the the dream we don't want to get too too deep into the deck but we do need to find yeah like multiple crushing hammers cool slurpuff cool good job and then uh we're gonna follow the scent and try to get multiple hammers back right yeah we're just gonna i'm gonna try it again bro and we're gonna get back those two hammers and then we're just gonna keep doing this over and over and over and over again and eventually once we kind of run them out of fighting energy we can yeah the hammer doesn't really matter there because i suspect that they're going to be taking a knockout but if they bench other things then they're giving me even more uh they're giving me even more targets to gust up and strand it looks like they are going to bench zashian zashian is definitely a very good card to strand active because it can only attack every other turn as well so that's cool now we got three hammers which is like ideal right Tails, tails. It's cool. That's like five tails. Yeah, I got like six heads coming right up, okay? You just you just wait, you know? We're just, yeah, we're just, see? <laughs> there we go. And <laughs> yeah, we're going to get all three hammers back. Going to try it again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Patience, chat. Listen, this deck is not for the faint of hearts, okay? You need to you need to be okay with like getting stranded out here. All right, they're going to gust stall my chinchino. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I got a scoop up net left in my deck. So, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Also, I already told you I've been I've been gearing up for those heads flips, baby. 
and gearing up. All right, I'm just going to attach the capture energy, take a look at my resources. I do have a scoop up net in the deck, but I'm no, I didn't want to make do. It's fine. All right, I'm a <laughs> what I wanted to do energy assist. <laughs> Yeah, make do is actually bad. I'm not trying to draw any more cards right now. I'm going to pop them, though. You know, I'll for force you to draw some cards. Oh, Chinchino getting in the paint. Crystal Cave, that's fine. Now I can retreat. So that's like the thing is like, yeah, you know, I can get you to want to play your stadium down. And then now that you've countered my stadium, I can retreat the Chinchino. And we can uh, keep going to town. Now... They're not attaching any energy, so I guess that at this point, I'll retreat into the puff. I've got an insane hand, right? And we just... put that there, follow the sense, right? And we keep getting stuff back. Absolutely unhinged puff. <laughs> absolutely ridiculous puff dude all right we can get a capture energy too because now i can start attacking with fairy wind like if they're really set on not doing anything then i will just fairy wind eventually i'll get back my galar mines but it doesn't matter yet because you know they've got a few more stadiums left and with the capture energy i could start using i mean like i'll start using fairy wind i have all four hammers in my hand so they can't they're probably not at this point going to be able to get any energy to stick, right? So we just do that. I mean, I might as well. We're going in, bro. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll follow the scent. Yeah, get those back. And yeah, absolutely insane deck. This is so sick. They're just going to pass. They're like, all right. So now they think that I'm going to deck out, right? Because they're like, you know, surely, surely they can't have it figured out like this. Like this dude will deck out. But no, I will go Ordinary Rod, Pokemon back into the deck, and I will not deck out. We're going to do that. And then we just simply follow the scent back for the Ordinary Rod, and we just keep looping the... There they go. They scoop. <laughs> Jolteon, we can't beat this deck. It's it's just straight up not possible. I do not think that in any world we win, but, you know, we're going to give it a shot. Let's see. I got the Altaria. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Battle VIP pass. Go get a couple more Zerua. That's fine. All right. And then we're going to pass. Yeah, this, this matchup is quite difficult because... Jolteon only needs to attack three times in order to win, uh, which is pretty terrible, right? Usually, we need our opponents to attack like six times. It's going to be way better for us. But uh, three times, that's going to be that's going to be tough. Cool. So we'll try to hit this. It's cool. All right. It's good. It's fine. You know, we're just saving up. We're storing up our crushing hammer power for later. That's what we got going on. Uh, that's fine. We'll scoop up net. This fella. Research. Try to just draw as heavy as we can. Cool. Got literally nothing going on. That's pretty dope. Okay. Do that. And I have to capture energy to... Anything, it's fine. And then Gorman dies for a couple. Altaria doesn't do anything because they will just quick shooting it. So here's the problem. You have Altaria, right? But when you get out Altaria, they quick shooting it. 
and then you set up your quick sh- your quick shooting cancel guy, right? And then they just gust that. That's your problem. And you have to like put a million Pokemon out on the bench because they will just knock them all out. You know what I'm saying? Like they just they will just knock them all out. If you set up Gorbis, are they going to Marnie? My hand is like total garbage, so that's like totally fine, actually. Now they need to find a. Uh, they need to find a. Uh, this hand is a badge. Okay, they've got it, but they don't have the. Ooh, they don't have the Zigzagoon. Okay, we've got Tool Scrapper. All right. It's Evolution Incense. Grab a chinchino. I guess you like use and make do on the twin energy, weirdly. Okay. Level ball. Get chinchino. Make do away Gorbis. Okay. Tool scrapper. Go Zork. And then I guess we're transforming into the the canceler. And then we Gorman dies for four. Right? And There goes the second energy. It's fine. They have to zigzagoon, but if they zigzagoon the Gorbis, they knock it out. They take two prizes, which is like turbo annoying for sure. So next turn, we're trying to promote Altaria if we can. They're just going to gust the fella. All right, that's fine. They'll take their knockout that way. Maybe they prized both their zigzagoons. It's kind of annoying. But it's fine. So they're taking two knockouts there. And then I just have to find... I, like, have to find a Zorark off of these two make-do, right? So we're going to make-do away Altaria. I have to find two Zorark, ideally. Yo, do not make me get rid of all these twin energies, please, dude. Okay, so we're going to Ordinary Rod back in... Just the Zork. And I'm going to make do away the Chinchino and hope to find one. I'm insane. Okay, so here we are. And we go, yo! Poggies. Okay, so we go here into the Altaria, right? And we go here into the Canceler. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then we go here. And, uh, huh. I think I scoop up net. I could scoop up net one of the Chinchinos. So they're going to try and gust my Gorbis. So. I could scoop up net one of my Chinchinos and put down a Zerua, which would. And it looks like like maybe they've prized their, so I think I will do that. And then we're just gonna research. Okay. And then we're just swinging with speed dive. Cool. So here we are. This is as good as it could possibly get for us. Like, this is the best setup we can possibly have against Jolteon. It's really, really bad. Definitely. Because all they have to do, they have used one boss. Typically, Jolteon decks only play like two. 
So if they gust this Gorbis, then I just set up the other one. But I have three Zerua in the discard pile. So that's tough. But again, the Jolteon matchup gets so much more manageable as soon as Manaphy comes out. Because when Manaphy comes out, you're going to be able to stop all this double prize shenanigans. All right, so they got the quick shooter, but they can't use it. So they're attaching to it. Bruh. Yo, cut that out. All right, they're trying to go in with the quick shooter. Now, I think that they've double prized their Zigzagoon. They haven't shown it yet, which makes me think, or it's going to be right here. There it is. Okay. So this is quite bad for us. Yeah, so they're going to go for the Gorobis, obviously. But I can just transform into it again. Yeah, Crushing Hammer. Excellent. Huh. All right, so I've got the Zorark. And then... I have to just do it again. I mean, but they probably have scoop up nets to just hit my Gorbis again, right? So then I'm just like, they're just going to keep knocking out the Gorbis. Right? I've only got 13 cards left in deck. I've already used my rod. So we have to do this. Knocking out Salvo could be good. I rock with it. It could keep them from maybe finding a, you know, a Drizzile or something like that this next turn. I took a prize. <laughs> I took a prize, Chets. Let's go. It's this card. This card is honestly a huge issue. There are so many cards that are rotating that are going to help the control deck as well. Because look, now we just lose, right? Because they scoop up Netha Zigzagoon, we just lose. Because now they're just going to be able to quick shooting my Altaria over the course of six turns, they'll just win. So, and there's no way that I can knock out an Intellion with an Altaria. It's just not really possible. All right, so they could take these two knockouts. That's cool. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. But I can't get out another Rap Strike Canceler. There's a lot of cards that are going to rotate in the fall that are just horrible for control. Scoop Up Net is terrible for control, right? Galarian Zigzagoon also is terrible for us. Capture Energy will rotate. It's fine. We got Battle VIP Pass. We're chilling. It's just, it's terrible for us because of this guy. But I think about this quite a bit because control is like almost there. But this card is terrible for you. Zigzagoon is terrible for you. And, uh, you know, over the course of six turns, they're just going to be able to ping you to death. So I guess like, all right, if that's their strategy is to quick shooting you to death, like what do you... Is there anything that you could do as a... Not really, because they'll be able to out... They'll be able to outlast you every time. Thank you, Squeeze, for that Tier 1 sub in the 35 months. Appreciate you, Squeeze. Thank you. Does Parasol stop... Parasol only stops to the bench, right? The Stealthy Hood, right? Yeah, Stealthy Hood would help. I can't chase down the Intellion. That's a three-hit KO, dude. I got a three-hit KO on that Intellion. So, yeah, as fun as this is, they just need six turns. The Parasol. So does Parasol, if I put Parasol on Altaria, can it not get quick shooting? Yeah, I've never actually... There's no way, right? 
Does it actually do that? Jolteon decks should play like a tool scrapper, though. So it's like, all right, how many Parasol are we playing? Two? Three? Parasol only stops attacks. See, chat, I knew you guys were tripping. It only stops effects of attacks. It does nothing. It can get quick shooting. Yeah. <clears throat> That's cool. Anyways, we're just sitting here kind of waiting for the inevitable. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm kind of over it. But you guys get the idea. We could almost beat... We could almost beat Jolteon when everything goes right, but you really just can't. And it looks like we're playing against another Suicune V deck. They've got a capture energy. This looks like a pretty traditional build. Suicune and Intellion. Yo, thank you, Big Evo, for those five gifted subs. 57 total gifts. Thank you, Big Evo. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a nice opening with Snorlax in the active position. Snorlax, more like Borlax. Helping everybody out. Because it's Gorman Dies ability. We've got Capture Energy turn one. So playing against Suicune. We want to set up... We definitely want to set up the Puff. Puff Daddy. We've got three Chintino in the deck. Dosnor doesn't matter. Altaria... I mean, Altaria Gorbis is like a pretty serious strategy that we can do against this deck as well. So we'll look into that. Might be something that we do. Do find a Chinchino. It's good. Another Zerua. Suicune's going to be pretty quick and aggressive, which will be tough for us. I think the idea is that like Suicune doesn't play a lot of doesn't play like too many gust cards but they could actually attack with intellion so that might be altaria might not be the best strategy for us it might be better to try and just strand something but then again if they play too many scoop up nets we can't really strand the intellions active it's just gonna be a tough time for sure gonna be tough you could Crushing Hammer Energies, right? You can Crushing Hammer Energies, try to limit that. But, you know, it's only a two energy attack that can Melanie to. Now with all these Suicune down, that definitely plays to our advantage a little bit because I can maybe remove energy from one of the Suicune and strand that Suicune active. But again, Melanie is just going to be a consistent threat against us. Okay, we'll put up the Zerua. I think Crushing Hammer. Let's go. Dang. Evolve into Zorark and Research. And we find Chinchino, which we can use to make do to draw two more cards. Okay, we got Zerua, not too much else going on. Don't wanna just leave this thing out here. We don't have anything to transform into, so I will scoop up net this, leave that up instead, and pass. Definitely kinda racing against time here. They're gonna take multiple prizes while we just try to get our footing and then you know, the quick shooting is going to be terribly annoying as well. So we're going to have to probably set up our Rapid Strike Canceler if we can. There they go, Blizzard Rondo. That's fine. We could try to confuse the Suicune. I think that that's probably one of our best bets because they don't really play Stadium cards. So we just try to confuse them. So I do actually have the Dusclops here, and that's going to be that's going to be how we slow this game down. Just research into the deck a little bit more. We haven't found an energy yet, which is like, come on, man. So let's thin the deck. Get this guy out. Level ball. Get this guy out. And then we're going to make do away the battle VIP pass. 
and there's the energies right there. So we can Phantom Transformation into Dusclops. And the thing about Sweet Kundex is they don't typically play a lot of um, switch cards or stadiums, right? So this is just kind of what we're going to do for the next couple turns. We're just going to confuse the Orb of Confusion. And uh, eventually, I am going to have to save that Chinchino, I guess. I do have both scoop-up nets in the discard pile, which is unfortunate. They're going to Marnie. So this should stay. Because I don't think that they have any switch cards. So if, Or any uh, stadiums. They probably do play, like, an escape rope, right? And then some scoop-up nets. So, yeah, there's the escape rope. That's fine. Just going to send up the evil tall. Uh, we got more evil tall. So we can send that thing up. And then we're just going to confuse again. We're going to stop the quick shooting. They've got three prizes left. Okay. Evolution Incense, I guess, okay. How many Rapid Strike, how many Twin Energy, two Twin Energies left, that's like plenty. They've only got three prizes left, so we might as well do this. Make do away the Gorbis. I've got Altaria as well. Crushing Hammer would be good, cool. Excellence. With both of these in my hand, I don't love that. We'll Phantom Transformation into that. Okay, and then Confuse Ray. And then we basically need to, like, they have two Suicune built up, and then Basically, we just keep kind of confusing. Make them burn resources, right? They can't quick shooting anymore. And then I have to, like, run them out of water. So they probably play five. But they the fact that they only have three prizes left is, like, really tough. I mean, obviously, this matchup is going to be tough. But we're doing the best our, we can. If we could get a couple of flips to go our way, we definitely got a shot. But again, the Melanie is going to make this matchup so hard. Would really be cool to find a boss's orders, maybe bring up this one. They've got 22 cards left in deck. Two Intellions evolved up. Tails, excellent. Cool. That's really what we want. Definitely. Got three prizes left. How many boss's orders in the discard pile? Zero. Okay. Got a level ball. Find another one of these. Two Crushing Hammer left. It's fine. I don't think I actually want to play the Research anymore. Yeah, definitely not with the Sand, right? So do that. Yeah, hopefully hit this. Sick. Okay. Give her to the water again. Ordinary Rod back in. A Zorark and a Zerua. 17 cards left in deck. That's fine. We'll make do away the battle VIP pass. And do we go for the other one? Yeah, just shut it down. <sighs> Let's go. All right. So now we're chilling. <laughs> this is exactly where we want to be. Okay. And we pass. All right. Force them to Melanie. And then... Hope for another Tails on their part. They've got the Shady Dealing Intelligence, so maybe they have one more switch in the deck. I'm hoping that they don't. They have scoop-up nets, right? But, like, nah, it's just the one escape rope, right? So that's all they've got. So I got another Water... 
They're going for the flip. They're going to reset this so they can continue to get whatever they want out of their deck. Uh, boss's orders. We've got boss's orders in the deck. Yes! Yes! Okay. We've got another Zork. They're still stuck. No stadiums. They've got 13 cards left in the deck. Make do away here. That doesn't matter. Make do away here. Zerua is fine. I haven't found my Slurpuff yet. Or another boss. That's fine. There's nothing worth transforming into. I could transform into Altaria. We'll wait. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. All right, do I have pal pad? Probably pal pad still there. My rod is down. I probably have to find the puff. They got the heads. They just went for it. Okay, cool. So I think that we leave this guy here and I'll phantom transformation into the Altaria. <laughs> Just gonna start speed diving. <laughs> right? So we're gonna do that for a little while. And then let's see what they do. Because I got two two prizes left. They haven't played a boss yet. But are they gonna boss and then like go for it on a flip? Yeah, it looks like they are. Cause they can't retreat. So they got it. Right, but that's fine. We send up Altaria again. And they might just have to boss and go for it to flip on a flip again. We've got Gallarmine. Okay. Are they going to boss and go for it on a flip again? Probably. I have a Zorak in my deck. I'm down both my scoop up nets though. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. We've got the Slurpuff in my deck. Okay, and another boss. And there's only one boss. Okay, that's fine. We speed dive. And we need them to flip a tails this time. If they gust. Right. All right, so they're looking to retreat this thing, potentially. Melanie. Okay, so they can retreat, but they can't retreat in boss unless they play double cross switcher, which would be they definitely don't do that. So we got them here. This is so we're Oh, here's a boss. Okay. Tails. So they they don't knock themselves out. Okay. But now we gust. Um, oh, okay. So five cards left in deck. Okay. 
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now they can just Melanie, right? So I should have kept this active. Ah, dang. I think I lose on resources anyway. Yeah, this is well played for sure. But I think that... Uh, I think I need another scoop up net in here. We're always just like... Oh, we're so close, dude. Yes, I, I messed that up. I should not have gusted this. But I'm like out of resources. Because I can't retreat this under the Galar mine. They would have retreat oh, you're right. They would have retreated anyway. So I had to bring this up. Yes, yes, yes. It was it was a better play to bring this up. Because they would have just retreated this. Because it has three energy on it. I think I don't have my pal pad. All right, so they failed that. They have scoop up nets. And pass, right? But I don't think that I have... Like, I can... If I retreat the Gorbis, I have to get the Zork, right? I have to get this twin energy onto this Zork. So I think, like, attaching this capture energy here lost me the game because I could attach it here and retreat into this Zork and then turn into the Slurpuff, who I haven't seen yet, right? All right, they have water. They just need a Melanie. And uh, my pal pad is prized. There is. The pal pad is in the prizes. So this could be big. Okay. Okay, so we pal pad back in two bosses. And then we retreat into this guy. And I start swinging. Right? I think that's my best bet. So they'll Raihan, but they can't Raihan and Gust. They have to get a card out of their deck. How many scoop up net you think they play? Four? How many scoop up net? You Let's go! We did it. Yes. 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 <laughs> Absolutely insane, bro. Insane. And that's it for my Slurpuff Evil Tall Control Deck. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like this every single weekday. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.